Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Come and like and share it. Come and take it. like and share it. Your boy done switched up on you. Wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys, look, if this is your very first time to this channel, run on over and subscribe for us. And after you subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell beside the word subscribe so that you'll be notified each and every time that we upload a video. And then, welcome to this great family. Now that you're part of us, there's some things that we do. And we do them every day because they help us grow. Those things are comment, 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 like, share, and go. For the team. Comment, like, share, and go. For the team. Comment, like, share, and don't forget to comment, like, share. Comment, like, share. Comment, like, share. Don't forget to comment, like, share. Comment, like, share. Comment, like, share. Don't forget to. Don't forget to comment, like, share. Okay, you guys, check this out. We'll go ahead and pray. We'll get into the goodness. Here we go. Hey, man. How y'all doing today? How you doing today? How you doing today? You guys, today for the food. We have got us a king crab seafood boil. I'm excited because my last two seafood boils, I've had to share with someone. One with little lips and one with hubby. Anyway, y'all, let's keep it going. Right now, y'all, we got Big Ben is in the building, baby. Big Ben is here. Big Ben is going to help us out, y'all. Because, baby, we're going to get to eating. Let's see if he's nice and refreshing. Let's go. Mmm. 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 Yes, he is. Okay, you guys, let me decide. I've got our Buffalo Wild Wings salt and vinegar. I have got uh, some seasoned salt for the eggs, just in case I don't have enough on them. And that's it. I got my seals over here. And I got me a spoon, y'all. Today, y'all, we got the sassy sauce. I didn't add anything to it today. I left it just like it was last time. And we're going to see what we come up with. Mmm. It's good. Y'all, we've got king crab, we've got cucumbers, we've got eggs, and we've got corn. We've got some peppers, some limes, and that's it. All right, y'all, here we go. Your first bite is going to be your cucumber. Which are, the light is a lot closer to me this time, y'all. So, mmm. Mmm. It may feel a little strange. If you feel a little tapping, little lips is over there on the laptop. Mmm. You guys, so, I was telling hubby, I guess by now, you've noticed that the setup is a little different. I'm sure you do. I was telling hubby, you know, I fell down the stairs, and I was telling him that I felt really, really bad, because I feel like, you know, like, when those type of things happen, y'all eat, when I can't record, because generally, I record downstairs in my dining room. Mm, I move upstairs, y'all. Downstairs in my dining room. Well, when I hurt myself, like I failed this time, and I can't get up and down the steps. So I told him, I said, we need to find a way for me to be able to continue with my legion. You know when such things happen. So y'all, he fixed me my own spot upstairs in our bedroom so I can stay with you. That's what he did. Y'all just want your corn first. He was not very much in this bowl. I was just hungry. And I wanted to come to the video. Mmm. 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 Oh. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Mmm. That is good. I've got a few jalapenos in here, but I had added so much um, cayenne and this assassin sauce last time. I don't think that I will be needing any of those. Mmm. And this is good. Okay. Now I'm gonna get one of these. I just got two of them today. 
Uh, that should be a plenty. I just got two legs. I didn't do no shrimp. I didn't do none of all of that. Cause for one, I'm in my bedroom. And I didn't want mess everywhere. We put a big mat up under me. Because y'all know I be wasting stuff. There goes some of my decoration right there. There you go. We ain't, we ain't worry about that. We're going to keep it moving. Yes, we are. Mmm. 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 But you all up in my face. You all up in my face. Damn. Mmm. Mmm. A little bit of the king crab down. Mmm. 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 This one of these old king crabs that come in and like the shell be bruised. Mmm. The shell be dark. But the meat still be good. Mmm. -hmm. Yes, it does. Y'all want a bite? I ain't got to stick it up there to you. You right here in it anyway today. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. And y'all, it's good. It's really good. Mmm. Mmm. You guys today, I'll top it. Mmm. I was going to try to not avoid, but I was going to try to just, mm, excuse me, y'all. I was going to try to just kind of slip through on this conversation, subliminally put little things in the community post here and there. Mmm. 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 And, mmm. Mm. Keep it moving. Because we as content creators, you guys, we never know what YouTube is going to say we can and cannot do when certain issues come along in the world. We never know. They may say today we can talk about it, that tomorrow we can't, we don't know. So, with that being said, you guys today, we are going to discuss the George Floyd incident. We talked about it a little bit on our live, but I didn't get into it a whole lot. Mm. Mm. But at the time, they had just decided, or I think maybe, I don't even know when we did that live, if they had even decided to charge the officer yet, I don't know. I can't remember. Um, however, we're going to talk about it today. You guys, this is a horrific thing that has happened again. Um, and I really think that you guys, until... There's harsher laws. I mean, um, up to and definitely not to exclude the death penalty. You guys, I don't think this is going to stop happening. I really don't. Um, there's one thing to have faith in people and, you know, to believe that the world has changed and that you know, we're gonna do better and we're gonna be better and we're gonna get along and it's gonna be kumbaya. That's always what we want. You we want to believe that society has changed enough, you know, for these things to be this way. There you go, King Crab. Mm. However, y'all it's twenty twenty. It was twenty twenty. And these things continue to happen. Senseless deaths, senseless deaths, just over one race. Trying to show, we're gonna put some lime on here, y'all. 
or using their authority to suppress another. It's a sad thing. I really am. It's a sad, sad thing. It's a sad thing. Um, because I'm sure, just like I did, you guys watched it all fall out. You know, we all watched how gruesome and how, you know, just heartless this thing was. I'm a believer that in life, God is the giver of life. And God should be the only one that should feel like that they have the power to take it away. That's how I feel. I don't feel that any man or woman on earth should feel that they have the power for any reason to take the life of another. I just don't feel that that is right. I just don't. Oh, then that came out good, y'all. I just don't think that that's right. I mean, because you ain't gave nobody life. I don't care how much you feel like mm, that what you did in the inside the sheets, you still didn't have the power to give life. The only person that has the power to give breath is God himself. And um, I just don't think that people should feel like that it's okay to do things, um, you know, that could take another person's life. That's just, that shouldn't be in our psychoanalysis that that is a power that we have. Like I said, I did watch mm, this take place. Just like I'm sure most of you did. And I think the, the worst part about it to me is that y'all, this man knew that he was being recorded. He knew it. He knew that him standing on that man's neck, kneeling on that man's neck, with his knee in that man's neck, he knew full well that his actions were being recorded. He knew that. Can you imagine the hatred that it would take to put your knee in someone's neck? Until they're no longer breathing? Could you imagine the willpower through pure hatred that that would take? I don't understand what is it in life that any group of people, any race, anyone different from you, could have done to a person for them to have the willpower to put their knee up against a human being, press their body, head, neck, up against concrete, Until so they didn't breathe anymore. I couldn't fathom hurting anyone in this manner. I couldn't fathom I just couldn't fathom it.
I just keep thinking over and over again in my head. As he laid there, those some odd eight minutes, what was going through his mind? I'm wondering what he's thinking about his daughter, his loved ones. I just can't imagine what could have been going through his head during that time. I just can't. Because I'm sure he didn't know. I know from experience when you can't breathe for whatever circumstance. Whether it be underwater, being choked, in any kind of way, I know how that feels. When I was younger, back in the country, y'all know I'm from the country, the way that we were taught how to swim was they take you out to the lake. Wait, what they do? Y'all got some peppers. I just got one great big one back at the back because I knew I wanted to eat one. They take you out to a lake, y'all. And what they basically do is take you off the pier. Mm. And they throw you in. That's how they teach us to swim in the country. Obviously, there's enough people there that know what's going on and know how to swim that if something terribly happens, they can get you out, or so they think they can. But that's how I would try to swim. It's either you sink or you swim. That's pretty much what happens. You sink or you swim. Mm. Uh, excuse me, y'all. Oh. <coughs> mm. Excuse me, y'all. You sink or you swim. Mm. Mm. You sink. You don't get to go back to the lake. Not for no swimming, no how. You can go sit on the bank, you know, and fish. But I know how that feels to not be able to breathe. I know there's been some idiots that have made some comments, even some idiots in office, that have said, if you can say, I can't breathe. That means that you can breathe. But it's obvious that as he's down on the ground, he's thrusting himself and picking himself up to say, I can't breathe. Either way, it's simply not right for policemen, law enforcement that are here to protect and serve to use their will to treat people in this manner. I understand that they have a dangerous job. I do. I really do. But the thing of it is where most people forget to look at, I hear people all the time say, well, the police have a dangerous job. They have to whoop the whoop the whoop and whoop the whoop the whoop and whoop the whoop the whoop. But that's all well and good. I understand everything that you're saying. But let's work. That's a job that they chose. No one.
control that for them. If you're a grown individual, mm, mm, I'm going to stop on that. You chose that job yourself. You knew the ins and outs of that job when you chose that job. So there's no need in saying that a person has to be cruel to people or, you know, just use your authority um, to harm because you have a dangerous job. I don't know any jobs out there that aren't dangerous anymore. I mean, all of them dangerous. I mean, they get people getting shot up in the in the post offices, the schools. I mean, if you really want to look at it, uh, mukbanging is dangerous. Do you know how many people have died due to food born? I'm sorry, food born illnesses. You know, you know how many people have died from recalls on food? Hmm. That they didn't know something was wrong with the food until somebody got sick and died. You know, I mean, for what it is right now, it's dangerous just to leave your home. So having a dangerous job is not a excuse to be gung-ho and cruel to people in the world. Now, I'm not a person that um, um, condemns anyone. I feel that everyone in the world, regardless of what it is that you've done, um, there is redemption with God. Um, there's some things and some, you know, there's some things in life that you do that you ain't gonna get forgiven for. Not here on earth. You ain't gonna get forgiven for that. You just not. Mm. Mm. But I believe there's nothing that you can do on earth that God won't, you know, forgive you for. I don't. I just don't believe that there is. Mm. I feel sorry for mm. 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 the police officer's family. His wife, his children, mother, dad, you know, all of that. I feel sorry for them um, because of his stupidity. You know, they have to live in fear. I really, really do. Y'all, it is something to really, really, to really, really think about. Mm. You know, when he got up that day, the police officer, it was a regular day. That hatred was already there. But it was a regular day. They put his uniform on, he went to work. He got the call, he responded. He went there, and for whatever reason, he took that man's life. You know, he did. He took that man's life. Brutally took that man's life. Brutally. That was crazy. I mean, today is Blackout Tuesday. 
I forgot to put it in the community post early in the day. I think I put it in there sometime later in the afternoon. But today is Blackout Tuesday for me. Uh, I got up early this morning and did it on Instagram because I knew that Instagram was a place where, <gasps> excuse me, y'all, where most were doing it. I didn't think about to put it <gasps> on YouTube until later on. But the Legion family, we did represent on Black Eyed Tuesday on Instagram. We did do that. So, it's up there. If you haven't seen it, like it, comment on it or whatever. I'll put it up there early in the morning. On Tuesday morning. I know that there's going to be a wide array of um, ideas that you guys are gonna have about this. And like I said, at first, you guys, we never know what YouTube is gonna do and how they're gonna let us do what. We just do not know. And this is a platform that we have chosen to be on. So we have to follow their rules. But I felt like that whether I made a dime on this video or not, that I had to show my support and give my opinion on the cause for what has happened to George Floyd. Mm. I was talking to mm, me and Hubby were talking, Hubby and I mm, were talking just about over the years, you know, the individuals that this has happened to and how big the outcome of their um, uh, movements were. You know, Tavon Martin was one of the bigger ones for sure. Um, Rodney King definitely was one of the huge ones. Uh, Lyric Brown, Sandra Bland. You know, there's so many that I could name. Um, whom have lost their lives this way. And each time, it seems as if you say to yourself, this can't happen again. You say to yourself, surely they've learned this time. Y'all done tore up this past scissors. I sure have. But anyway, you know, you say no one's going to be that ignorant anymore. But in some of those cases, you guys more so than not, the judicial system in the United States These people got off. We're doing these things. These people got off. I said to say, you guys, we can't do anything about whom is already elected, whom is always already in office. But you guys, if we're going to change this, the change is going to start with your vote. That's where it's going to start. Um, yes, we do get a vote. We do. But it's going to be hard for you to think that the change that's going to happen starts at the top. With the president. Because it doesn't. You guys, the change that's going to have to happen... It's got to start at the bottom. It's got to start at your local government, your district attorneys, you know, your aldermen, all the way down to, you know, your city council. That's where it starts. You've got to use your vote to start at the, I mean, at the bottom level.
to make sure that you do all that you can to drive hatred out of these officers that keep allowing these people to do this and get away with it. Anything that you can vote on that has anything to do with anyone in authority, you seek out I'm talking about down to the school board. You study. You take the time to get to know what that person is about. We are coming up to a big election in our country. We all know that. But I want to let you guys know Don't set your sights on the top. Set your sights on your school board, the people that handle your children every day. Set your sights on your aldermen, your city council, your district attorney for sure. You know, your judges, city clerks, all everything that you can vote on. Do your part to drive this hatred and these injustices out of our lives. That's the only way we're going to get through, y'all. Anyway, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and go. I love you guys so, so much. I hope that you guys have enjoyed the show. I really, really do. Um, It's hard to be chippery and jippery um, with this type of show. But I hope you guys have enjoyed. I love you guys so, so much. To all my new legion, thank you so much for being here. Mm-hmm. We love you for it. To all my existing legion, you know I love you. I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here, okay? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys, look. Always remember that there's always more than one way home. All you have to do is get there. So get there, people. Get there. I love you all. And I'm going to see you guys next time. And if you're not here to watch me next time, you have lied to me. And I know you lied. Period. <laughs> bye bye. Mm. Get home, you guys. So it's slow. I didn't get home. It's the last day. See y'all later. Bye bye. Rest in peace, George.